psych myself up. I thought I'd be psyching myself up for it. Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Abigail. As you can see, I'm in my classroom this morning. And I'm going to be doing circle time with you today. Are you guys ready for the good morning song? After two. One, two. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How are you this morning? Look to your neighbor and wave your hand. Look to your neighbor and wave your hand. Look to your neighbor and wave your hand. Wave your hands. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? How are you this morning? Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody is having a great day. And if you're not, I hope your day gets better for you. Now let's get ready for the days of the week. I'm going to start after two. One, two. Days of the week. 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 There is Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. So friends, today is, that's right, today is Thursday. So I have my little leaf here, I'm going to move it from Wednesday to Thursday. So if today is Thursday, tomorrow will be That's right my friends, tomorrow will be Friday. Friday. And if today is Thursday, what was yesterday? Good job. Yesterday was Wednesday. So today my friends is Thursday. Tomorrow will be Friday, and yesterday was Wednesday. Now let's sing our months of the year song. After two, one, two. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, those are the months of the year. So, friends, we're still in the month of... Good job. We're still in the month of February, or this month is February. Now, who can tell me what last month was? Good job, my friends. Last month was January. Last month was January. And who can tell me what next month will be? That is the month after February. You're right again, my friends. Next month will be March. Next month will be March. We're almost close to March. This is the last week of February. So remember, friends, this month is February. Last month was January. And next month will be March. So today we're going to review our letter of the week and our number of the week. So first, let's start with our letter of the week. What letter have we been learning all week? 
Good job, my friends. We've been learning about the letter Q. Q. Now, let's learn how to write the letter Q. Let's review how to write the letter Q. So for your big Q, you want to draw a round circle. And then you're going to draw a little stick coming out. So you're going to go around. And then you're going to draw the little tail. For your small Q, you want to write a circle. And then you're going to go down. It sort of looks like a P, but it's backwards. So you're going to write a circle, and you're going to write it going down. Now, some friends like to add the circle down and then a little tail at the end, and that's okay. So again, our big circle is around and down. Our big Q, excuse me, is around and down. And then our small Q is around down or around down and a tail here are some words that start with the letter q so i have here queen Qu -qu queen starts with the letter q i also have quilt quilt starts with the letter q and this is a long word, well, two words, <laughs> question mark, question mark, question starts with the letter Q, and this is a question mark. So again, our letter of the week is the letter Q. Does anybody remember what number we're learning this week? Good job, my friends. The number we're learning this week is the number 17. We're learning about the number 17. So, how do we write the number 17? We have to write a 1 first, and then we're going to write our 7, which is a cross and a slant down. So, you're going to go down for the 1, and then the next one. Number seven is going to be a cross and slant down. And that's how you write 17. To spell the word 17 is S-E-V-E-N-T-E-E-N. -E 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 that's S-E-V-E-N-T-E-E-N. -E 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 17. Let's count to the number 17. Are you guys ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So the number we're learning this week is the number 17. For our million lesson today, my friends, we're going to talk about this word here. Reflection. Reflection. Now, what does reflection mean? We're going to learn about it in this book I have. So I have a book and it's called Light, Shadows, Mirrors, and Rainbows. And this book is a special book because it has what we call a table of contents. So this book has a lot of topics about light, which we're learning this month. So we, instead of trying to read all the books I can look in the table of content and look for which topic I want to talk about so we're trying to find out about reflections and so my table of contents has the question 
How do mirrors work? And mirrors is a big part of learning of what a reflection is. So let's go to how do mirrors work. And it says it's on page 12. So here we are. How do mirrors work? On page 12. When light hits something smooth and shiny, almost all the light rays bounce or reflect off of it. When you see yourself in the mirror, light rays are bouncing from you to the mirror and back again. Your image is a reflection. So the mirror is a smooth and shiny surface. And the light rays from you are going to the mirror and bouncing off or reflecting because the mirror is smooth and shiny and what you see is going to come back at you as as the image of the reflection which is you all around your house reflections stare back at you look at your face in a silver toaster or a shiny spoon these reflections look different from the one in the mirror so depending on the shape of the object that is shiny and smooth, you might get a different image when you look at it. The moon has no light on its own. Moonlight is really sunlight reflecting off the moon. At night, this reflection lights your path and paints the trees silver. Fun fact, not everything makes a shadow or a reflection. Light could go through objects that are clear. Moonlight can stream through a window, making a bright spot on the floor. So last week we were talking about, sh a couple of weeks ago, excuse me, we were talking about shadows and certain objects that are see-through or transparent don't make shadows all it will do is let the light shine through and that's why you have the bright light on the ground underneath the cat however the white sills on the window and the frame are not see-through we call that opaque and because the light rays can't hit through the window sill or the, or the window frame it creates the shadow on the ground that you see. So this was the book, Light, Shadows, Mirrors, and Rainbows. And we got all that we needed from this book because we were only talking about what this word is, a reflection. So the word reflection means when light rays from a light source bounce off an, obj an object and it comes back as an image. So that's what, that's what the word reflection is. So friends, for your mini activity today, I want you to find a mirror. It could be any shape, any size. And I want you to draw what you see in the mirror. So it could be just you. It could be what's in the background. I just want you to write down or draw your reflection and maybe write down a sentence about what you see in your reflection. That's it for circle time today. And until next time, my friends, bye-bye.